liberado todas as datas dos planos de atualização da Riot, trazendo aqui Gwen confirmada, Ione confirmada, o modo de jogo novo, duelo, que eu tô achando que é um X1, nós vamos descobrir, porque também tem dev diário, células supremas que eu não tenho ideia do que é, um evento de festa aqui com o Warwick já, mas o Warwick só chega dia 3, o evento chega um pouquinho antes, 11 do 10, temporada da ranqueada que vai mudar, deve mudar a ranqueada lendária também, eles devem falar um pouquinho melhor aqui no dev que nós vamos assistir hoje, e a Vex feiticeira, porque se essa é a skin, talvez a Vex chegue antes, Antes, né? Será? Não sei. Vamos dar uma olhada em tudo isso detalhado hoje, fazendo um react aqui do, do vídeo aqui da Riot Games, né? Diretamente lá do canal do Adrift BR. Se você tem dúvida, é só ir lá, dar uma olhada. E a gente vai comentando aqui o que, que a gente acha. Aqui tem tudo agora em primeira mão. Então vem comigo que eu sou o Zé, que seja bem-vindo da evolução. Pode colocado e bora de play aqui. Deixa eu ver se tá funcionando o áudio. 3, 2, 1. Oi, não tinha funcionado. Agora vai funcionar. Bora. What's up, everyone? I'm Jared, Dark Horse for Life Burback, the new game director on Wild Rift. Patch 3.4 is just around the corner, and we're thrilled to share what's in store for this update. Don't worry, I didn't kidnap Alan or anything. He's still here, and he'll continue to make appearances from time to time. But you'll be seeing me and some of the other devs more frequently in the updates going forward. We've really appreciated all of your feedback over the last few patches, and we couldn't have brought you these updates without it. Elemental Rift, especially, was a three-patch labor of love that came about entirely thanks to players sharing all their thoughts. This time, we can't wait to bring you more champions, more updates to the support role, and changes to the Wild Pass that'll improve your overall gameplay experience. Welcome to Patch 3.4, Power Spike. Power Spike, campeões, hein? Vex, o Yoni, já perdi. <laughs> You won't need your black eyeliner and checkered belt to fit in with these edgy new champions, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Don't let her ghostly appearance fool you. Gwen, the hallowed seamstress, is traveling to the top lane and just longs to enjoy life, even if she does run with scissors. Her passive, a thousand cuts, empowers Gwen's attacks to deal bonus damage based on the target's maximum health. Gwen heals for part of the bonus damage against champions. They'll be sure to get the point. Point, you know, cause scissors. Snip Snip is Gwen's first ability. When she attacks, Gwen will apply up to four stacks of Snippy. Activate this ability to snip her scissors and use up your stacks, cutting an extra time for each one consumed. The center of each snip deals true damage and applies a thousand cuts to enemies hit. Weave yourself a safety net with Gwen's second ability, Hallowed Mist. Summon the Hallowed Mist around Gwen, making her untargetable to all enemies outside the zone. Eu tenho uma, um... É um, um medo da Gwen, por causa que a Gwen era um dos últimos personagens. Tem muito do... Lançaram bem depois, né? No, 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 no LoL PC. E, cara, eles começam a fazer as habilidades desse jeito. Isso aqui é a segunda habilidade da Gwen, que é o ult do Shin Zhao com o ult do Jax. E consegue andar e movimentar no meio. É melhor do que o ult dos caras. Então, não é a segunda habilidade. O problema é... Tem alguém pra counterar a Gwen no top? Eu, eu não tenho ideia se tem alguém pra counterar a Gwen. Vai ser... Vai ser... Pick Bum, Pick Bum sempre, velho. Por mais que ela venha fraca, pelo que eu tô vendo aqui, só pelo kit da, da boneca. É, é bem absurdo colocar ela aqui, mas vamos ver, né? While in the mist, Gwen gains bonus armor and magic resist. Gwen can recast this ability once to call the mist to her. It will automatically recast the first time she attempts to leave the zone. With her third ability, skip and slash, Gwen dashes forward and gains attack speed, attack range, and deals bonus damage for a few seconds. Her first attack will refund part of skip and slash's cooldown. Finally, leave your enemies in stitches. <risos> ela, ainda, ela tem dash, múltiplo ataque, é, consegue estacar, tem o ult do Jax, tem o ult do Shin Zhao, e agora tem a ult dela. With Gwen's ultimate, Needlework. Cast it to hurl a needle that deals damage in a line, slowing enemies for a few seconds and applying a thousand cuts. After casting Needlework, Gwen can recast it up to two more times. Fire three more needles on your second cast and five more on your third cast for a painful prickly onslaught of damage. Yone, the unforgotten, slices his way back from the spirit realm as a melee. É outro personagem quebradíssimo. Eu acho que ele não é tão quebrado como a Gwen, ele é bem assassino. Mas sei lá, velho, o bicho é. Não sei, esse aqui eu quero jogar. É um dos únicos assassinos que me deu vontade de jogar. A mid and top laner. His passive, Way of the Hunter, makes every other attack extra powerful, dealing a scaling amount of physical and magical damage. His first ability, Mortal Steel, deals physical damage in a straight line. Landing it grants a stack of Gathering Storm, which is tracked in the ability icon. At two stacks, Yone dashes in the target direction and unleashes a Whirlwind that deals the same damage. Enemies hit by a dash or Whirlwind are knocked up. Use Yone's second ability, Spirit Cleave, to slash in an arc. 
Yone gets a shield based on how many enemies he hits, which is increased if he hits a champion. Dive into the enemy back. Essa parte do escudo eu não lembrava, era diferente do PC ou, ou eu tinha lá também? Line with his third ability, Soul Unbound. Yone dashes in spirit form, leaving his body behind to gain move speed and mark champions that he damages. When Soul Unbound ends, Yone snaps back to his body, detonating the marks for true damage. Essa é a mais roubada. Simplesmente ele sai da água pulando parede, tá? Ele pula parede com isso aí. Chega lá, ataca, 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 gasta tudo, porque ele tem um combo só pra estourar, igual um Zed da vida, e depois volta na alma dele. É isso. Ele é um Zed melhorado. <risos> Absurdo. Based on how much he dealt while active. Ah, que dá dano mágico também, né? Então não adianta você fazer defesa física, não. Recast at any time to end the ability early. With his ultimate, Fate Sealed, Yoni slashes all enemies in his path, blinking behind the last champion hit. He pulls enemies to the center of the line, knocking them up for a brief moment. Your enemies won't know what hit them. Nothing personal, kid. Warwick, the uncaged Wrath of Zaun, is a fearsome melee jungler who excels at chasing down low health enemies from all over. Esse aqui também, meu... A Gwen não me chamou tanta atenção, não. Eu só quero jogar com ela porque ela deve ser roubadíssima. Eu acho que nada vai parar. O Yoni me chamou a atenção por ser um assassino bem absurdo, bem absurdo mesmo, com dano físico e mágico. Ou seja, não tem nem como você defender dos dois. Agora o Warwick. Hum, vontade de jogar na selva. Pena que vai chegar só lá pra mês 11, velho. Vai demorar demais. Over the map. Warwick's passive, Eternal Hunger, deals scaling magic damage on hit and heals Warwick for a portion if he's low on health. Jaws of the Beast, his first stability, lets Warwick lunge at an enemy to deal a percentage of their max health as magic damage. Hold down the ability to charge it. Let go to lunge behind an enemy, follow their movement, and deal damage. Follow your nose wherever it goes with his second ability, Blood Hunt. Passively, Blood Hunt marks low health enemy champions, granting bonus movement speed towards them and attack speed versus low health enemies. Activate it to mark the nearest enemy champion and highlight the shortest path towards them. Strike fear into the hearts of your prey with Warwick's third ability, Primal Howl. Cast once to gain damage reduction and recast fear and slow nearby enemies. Warwick's ultimate, Infinite Duress, is a skill shot where Warwick leaps forward to collide with an enemy and interrupt their movement. Opa, pera aí, ele interrompeu o Davi? Não, a foi a primeira skill shot where Warwick leaps forward to collide with an ah, enemy tá, tá, tá. and interrupt their movement. During its short channel, the enemy is suppressed and revealed, and Warwick deals hefty magic damage, healing for a percent. É exatamente isso aqui que vai acontecer com os ADC, velho. Nossa, vai pular no cara, não tem como fazer nada, só de, de dar vida. But don't get too comfortable. Infinite arrest can be ended by hard crowd control, like stuns, polymorphs, and knockups. Rolling into the mid lane harder than a teenager rolls their eyes is Vex the Gloomist. With the power of angst and her companion shadow, Vex is a combo loaded yordle of doom, gloom and sarcasm. Vex's passive, doom. Bom, outro campeão também lançado depois, hein? A Vex é bem forte comparado com os campeões antigos. Bem, não é que é forte, ela tem muita set skill, é muito diferente. E ela tá bonitinha aqui, hein? Olha essa onda, como é que eu vou. Gloom has two parts. Doom is a meter that fills over time, and when it's maxed out, Vex's next basic ability will interrupt dashes and fear all enemies hit. The second part, Gloom, marks nearby enemy champions who dash or blink within range of her with a Gloom mark. The mark can be consumed by Vex's basic attacks, first and second abilities to deal damage, and refund some of Doom's cooldown. Mistral Bolt, Vex's first ability, launches a wave that deals magic damage and detonates any Gloom marks. After a short delay, the wave accelerates but decreases in width. Take cover from damage and the world with her second ability, Personal Space. Vex gains a shield that absorbs damage for a few seconds and damages nearby enemies while also detonating gloom marks. Looming Darkness, Vex's third ability, sends shadow to a target location, dealing magic damage, slowing enemies, and marking enemies with gloom on arrival. Shadow increases in size the farther it travels. Finally, let all that rebellion come pouring out with Vex's ultimate, Shadow Surge. Send Shadow flying forward, marking the first enemy champion hit and dealing magic damage. Recast, and Shadow will pull Vex to the marked target, dealing even more damage. If an enemy dies shortly after being damaged by Shadow Surge, it can be recast at no cost within 12 seconds. Pentakill, mecânica de jogo, vamos ver agora. Já vimos champions, já sabíamos mais ou menos, já tínhamos estudado eles no PC. Mudou alguma skill falando isso? Se você viu alguma skill que mudou, você que joga lá o PC aí, comenta aí embaixo pra gente já saber. E bora pra mecânica. We're introducing two new support starting items, Spectral Sickle and Relic Shield. 
each with a unique focus on offensive and defensive capabilities. Both items grant up to three charges that you can use to apply lane pressure and earn extra gold, as long as you have an ally nearby. When you reach 500 gold earned, both items will upgrade when you're out of combat, granting the ward active with three wards in stock. Hey everyone, this is Adnan. Spectral Sickle is an adaptive damage quest item suited for both AD and AP champs. With an ally nearby, damaging abilities and attacks against champions and towers consume a charge, up to one per attack or cast, granting you gold. Hmm. Relic Shield is a bonus health item that consumes charges to execute minions below half health, granting gold to you and your nearby ally. To complement the items, we're also adding and upgrading some support enchants. Deal extra damage when you equip the Meteor enchant. The small but mighty common is ideal if you're looking to add more magic damage to your team. Que? Só do meteoro. Pera aí, deixa eu voltar aqui. Encantamento meteoro. The meteor enchant. The small but mighty common is ideal if you're looking to add more magic damage to your team comp, or you need a little extra burst to set up CC and combos. Protect enchant can be added to amplify already existing protective options for enchanters that might want some extra oomph for a shield or heal at a specific moment. With Meteor Enchant coming to take over the damage space, we're speeding up the Redemption Enchant to make it more immediately powerful. We know it can feel bad to try to corral your allies into one specific space, so by speeding it up, we're hoping to boost its overall supportive power while making it feel more responsive. But, to balance it out, Redemption no longer deals damage. Ah, meu Deus, eu ia falar a Redemption mais roubada do mundo agora, mas não é mais não. The Locket Enchant has always been generally powerful and checks a lot of boxes as far as support enchants go. So we're scaling back its capabilities, making it shield magic damage only. To pair with the Nossa, acabaram com... Tipo assim, eu sei que deram um nerf na redenção porque colocaram ela mais rápida pra cair, o que é vantagem. Mas ao mesmo tempo acabaram com o medalhão, né, velho? O medalhão tava mais caro, era de acordo com o nível, o escudo, e agora tiraram pra proteger dano físico também. Ah, sacanagem. Many support role improvements were making adjustments to the in-game UI, including new elements that call out when you've assisted a kill. We're experimenting with the new, never before seen in WoW. <laughs> X1 mesmo, X1 mesmo. Ih, virou Street Fighter. Quer apostar X1? Vai. Rift 1v1 game mode. Queue up to duke it out on the Howling Abyss against a single PvP opponent. Nemo, ah, queria mais detalhes se ia ter rank de X1, vocês dando... Ah! We're bringing Riftmaker to the Rift. We wanted to add another AP Vamp item, as Hextech Gunblade felt a little too narrow in its usefulness. Riftmaker delivers more sustained AP damage and is another great option for AP carries. Cosmic Drive is also getting a Wild Rift makeover. It's an ability haste AP item that can compete with popular AP damage items like Rabadon's Death Cap. Hmm. Last patch, we added some new enchants too, and also made adjustments to encourage more options and healthier pick rates for items. These changes are a continuation of that, with a greater focus on support players this time around. A temporada ranqueada agora. Whatever your rank, we hope this season is treating you well and that you're excited for the Season 7 climb ahead. We've been keeping a close eye on Legendary Q and have a few updates to look forward to. High-ranking competitive players want to be confident that their teammates are playing their best champs, so we're adding a new gate for legendary Q based on your champion mastery score. If you Ixi, que medo, que medo, vamos ver. Want to play a new champ? You'll need to get some experience in another Q first. Finally, it's a little ways away, but another rank season means another glorious champion to unlock. The icon of self-love, or is it obsession? Glorious Crimson Draven arrives to take over rank season 7. Ah, não falou quanto de maestria vai ter que ter, velho. Aí que, aí que é o ponto, velho. Se for uma maestria muito baixa, tanto faz. O cara, minha conta mesmo tem maestria com tudo, quase. <risos> Nessa essa baixinha, saca? Se for uma maestria muito alta, aí vai pegar, hein? Play ranked games to unlock him from the season's reward tab starting in October. I'm sure that you're dying to learn about next season's Wild Pass champion and theme. But first, there are some updates coming that we wanted to share. Namely, that Wild Pass progress and reward claiming has changed. The bonus rewards section is now the Wild Pass Emporium. Pass progress is changing from a linear track for levels 51 to 75 into an exchange where mm. you can claim rewards in any order you like. Claiming enough Emporium rewards grants you an upgraded Wild Pass skin augment. Additionally, 
there are two new ways to earn experience. All players will have a set of simple repeatable missions for playing matches that give a constant stream of Wild Pass experience. Okay. These missions have a cap and reset each week, giving players steady momentum simply for coming in and playing games. For Elite Pass purchasers, new seasonal missions are being added to help them attain all the rewards they want in the Wild Pass Emporium. Finally, Elite Pass purchasers who buy the pass will receive a new random skin chest at level 1. Yeah, like instead obviously. of getting any random skin, you can narrow down the choices to just one lane roll. Solo lane, mid, jungle, duo lane, or skin. Isso aqui é legal, hein? Agora você pode escolher a lane que vai vir a skin aleatória. Muito bom. Support. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Defy the schemes of supervillains like it's your day job, because it is, in this season's Wild Pass. Superhero Jace is ready to leap over tall buildings and into team fights. Unlock him when you reach level 50 in your Wild Pass. Earn his ascended superhero skin by playing matches and claiming it from the Wild Pass Emporium. Ah, bonitinho, bonitinho até essa skin. We have loads of events planned for this patch, starting with Yone's arrival. We'll welcome the spirited swordsman to the rift with new missions and rewards. Olha o roubo disso aí, velho. After that, we have an é October, starting off with a high stakes battle between master fighters. For honor and victory, choose a side and take part. Ah, que era isso mesmo. Zed, Zed e Kenen. Vai chegar a Vex. <risos> Sabe que eu queria tinha as orelhinhas da Vex. Sports né? tournament during our Supreme Cells event. This idol game will let you train your fighters so that they can participate in the tournament and help you earn rewards, even if you can't queue up for games every day. Just like the fighters in the tournament, we've been training up and studying the ways of the Rift these past couple years. And using everything we've learned, we'll be celebrating all of you and giving out free goodies. We've loved hearing Look your up. feedback, seeing your crazy smite steals, 1v5 clutches, backdoor mundos, and your dedication and passion for Wild Rift over these past two years. And we can't wait to celebrate these epic moments with you during our Power Rank party. Thank you so much for playing and sticking with us during this wild journey. Then, make way for the Vex Parade. I mean, bewitching Vex bingo event. <laughs> Laugh and play a little B-I-N-G-O to welcome our number one Oof, brooding mortal me. to Wild Rift with their favorite thing of all, a smile. Vamos ver as skins agora? Ah, lembrando, estamos com parceria com a Coda. Ei, cadê o símbolozinho da Coda? Aí, estamos com parceria com a Coda e link na descrição. E como comprar white cores mais barata por lá. As always, we have loads of new skins due for release this patch. Get excited for some spooky or downright groovy new threads. Ai meu Deus, vocês gostaram dessa skin? Ah, isso é o Zed? Caraca! Caraca, agora, ao mesmo tempo que a Yoni me decepcionou, caraca, vou jogar de Zed, hein? Acabou, acabou. Melhor skin do jogo. Melhor skin do jogo. Morgana, não tenho nenhum skin legal, velho. Agora essa aqui. Hum. That's everything for this update. Summon your inner scene kid with a moody selection of new champions and save the date for the many events ahead. All in the Power Spike Patch. Power Spike Patch. Thanks for listening. And as always, we look forward to seeing you on the Rift. Velho, pegaram algum easter egg que eu não peguei? De algum campeão que deve lançar aí de surprise? Nossa, isso aqui é muito legal, hein? Essas caixas. Cara, tem muita coisa boa. Essa caixa que você pode escolher a lane agora pra ver a skin é muito bom. Ah, o modo X1 eu tô esperando demais. Tem skins muito loucas aqui que eu vou ter que pegar, né? Não tem jeito. E hum, coisas que eu quero... Oh. Quero jogar de Yone também. Comenta tudo que vocês acharam aí da atualização. Eu vou dar uma outra assistida nesse vídeo, pegar mais detalhes. Se vier algum vazamento, algum detalhe também que rolar, como por exemplo, da maestria da lendária, que eu não sei quanto que é, eu trago pra vocês aqui amanhã. Então, fica com Deus, um beijo pra vocês, até a próxima. Falou! Foi!